Welcome to this section of the Geometry Tutor where we're going to learn about the concept of perimeter. Um, perimeter is a big word. All it means is uh, if, you, if you have a, a shape and you have the lengths of the sides of that shape and you add them up, that's called a perimeter. So in your backyard, you've got a fence that goes all the way around your backyard. If you know that this side's 10 feet and that side's 15 feet and this side's uh, 10 feet, you add them all up, you get the perimeter all the way around the shape. The perimeter means all the way around the shape. Um, so okay. we're, that's basically everything that this lesson is about, and we're going to take that and apply it to some problems. Okay, so the perimeter of a polygon is the total length of all the sides of the polygon. The total length. So if you have something like some shape like this, let's say, okay, and this is one uh, one centimeter, let's say, and one centimeter, and two centimeters, and two centimeters, let's say. Then the perimeter is just going to be one plus one plus two plus two. So the perimeter is going to equal, that's four, five, six, six centimeters. If this is in centimeters, then your unit will be centimeters. If it's in miles, it'll be six miles. But the perimeter is six, okay? If you had, let's say, a complicated shape like, you know, something like this, You know, it could be any kind of shape. This is two, five, one, 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 let's say. And then the perimeter is just going to be two plus five plus one plus one plus one, 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 plus one, one, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. Okay? Uh, and so when you add all this up, you're just going to get uh, 15. And like I said, it could be centimeters, could be miles, whatever. So this is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You just add up the sides. That's, that's called the perimeter. Okay? It's called the perimeter. Uh, and then if you had, you know, something like a, a square, let's say, one, 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 okay? Uh, then the perimeter is just one plus one plus one plus one, which is just four, okay, for the square here. Now, you can always add up the length of the sides and get the perimeter. I mean, that's what we're saying here. But sometimes, you know, in the book, you'll see perimeter formulas. Okay, which the thing to remember here is there's there's no um, there's there's no difference between when you have a formula that gives you the perimeter of a square, or the perimeter of a rectangle, or something. It's no different than the basic concept. It's just the, the length of the sides going all the way around. Um, sometimes you just have a few shortcuts. So, for instance, if this is a square, by definition, you know a square has the same length. All the sides are the same length. Okay, so I'm going to put s cubed means this is a square. And let's say that, that this length is s, this length is s, this length is s, this length is s, and the little cross lines mean that those are congruent, which just means they're all the same. Then the perimeter of a square, s cubed, okay, uh, what do you think it's going to be? It's going to be s plus s plus s plus s. And from your algebra, that's just equal to 4 times s. So, in your book sometimes, you might see that the perimeter of a square is 4s, okay? Um, and it's no different than just adding them up. It's just that you know that since s is the same for each length, all you have to do is multiply by 4, 